Hi, everyone. My name is Laure Bertiecki. I'm a research director in computer science at the French National Research Institute for Sustainable Development in France. And uh, I will present our joint work and initiatives as part of a new joint international and interdisciplinary lab we have created with my colleague, uh, Rafael Raimundo, who is a professor of ecology at the Federal University of Paraiba in Brazil. In this context, the, the lab named IDEO steers for leveraging artificial intelligence, data analytics, Earth observation applied to sustainability. And we combine data from multiple sources and domains, as well as complex network modeling to discover um, transformative agroecological pathways. Brazil is facing several threats uh, to the environment, social rights, and scientific institutions. These threats are amplified in the northeast uh, region of the country uh, with a dramatic biodiversity loss in the Atlantic forest in Paraiba state and also desertification in the semi-arid region of Caatinga. Our area of study is focused on three Brazilian states, uh, Paraiba, Ceara, Rio Grande do Norte and Pernambuco. Facing the current challenges requires to change uh, current governance schemes into an adaptive governance with um, active social participation to start a transition towards uh, co-viability. co um, is uh, a notion um, we refer uh, to as the multiple social ecological uh, governance structure and ways under which human and non-human can coexist in functional, fair, and persistent ways um, and reach some kind of equilibrium. My colleague uh, Raphael and I recently created uh, the International Joint Lab uh, IDEO between my institute at IRD and uh, the Federal University of Paraiba to join our efforts and participate uh, and articulate a robust agenda that bridges research, education, and governance with social participation across three disciplines, computer science, ecology, and social sciences, to propose a um, transdisciplinary framework that combines the power of quantitative research and social participation. Our lab, um, focuses on athletic forest and Caatinga regions in the Brazilian Northeast, where climate change and desertification represent uh, critical threats. Uh, we have four uh, different axes of research based on study cases in Paraiba and the neighboring uh, states of Serra, Rio Grande uh, do Norte and Pernambuco. Each axis relies on the same transversal uh, research methodology and multi-source data integration that I will explain in the next slide. Each case refers to different types of social ecological challenges um, and uh, each access seeks to bridge science and social participation to combine the restoration of ecosystem, social inclusion and, and local economic uh, development under agroecological context. For example, um, our goal is to find agroecological um, agro corridors uh, for the Atlantic forest to connect uh, biodiversity hotspots or to address a local water uh, governance in the region of Katinga in Sierra states to associate biodiversity restoration experiment and innovation in biodiversity-based products um, produced by women uh, facing domestic violence in the Caatinga um, of Rio Grande do Norte state. And finally, to address social environmental conflicts between leaf cutting ants and farmers in Pernambuco states. 
initially we target um, an area of study such as the region in green here in the slides, including the Atlantic Forest in Paraiba State, where uh, Raphael's university campus is located. We involve um, local actors, farmers, indigenous people and local administrators uh, living in, in, in the area and ask them to define the dimensions of viability which matter the most to them to establish an initial diagnosis of co-viability through um, interviews. We then leverage existing data sets and data science technologies to merge various information sources and compute the values of indicators relevant for the actors. Satellite uh, data such as Landsat, Sentinel, uh, planet images, social economical um, survey data, weather forecasts, biodiversity data from uh, GBIF, um, iNaturalist, at various scales in time and space are being collected, prepared, integrated, and analyzed. As a result um, of the data integration and, and data exploration uh, steps, we generate dashboards of co-viability diagnosis composed of various indicators and dimensions, which have been co-specified with local actors here uh, represented um, in the shape of uh, donuts at different scales uh, with the ecological ceiling and the social foundation as the external and internal circles uh, respectively. Different actors may have different views of what co-viability means, and these diverging views can fuel um, discussion uh, between actors, researchers, and local communities. These views are also confronted with objective and quantitative um, data to establish the co-viability diagnosis. With the local actors, we then co-specify a co-viability target uh, representing what could be improved uh, to reach an acceptable um, viability equilibrium at different scales. In this uh, stage, uh, machine learning process, uh, machine learning techniques can offer powerful tools for addressing some of the greatest challenges faced here. For example, to find a consensus between actors or scales, and, and second, to discover a path, an optimal transition uh, or a required um, adaptation that can depart from the co-viability diagnosis or status to reach the target. With taking into account various uh, social, ecological, structural, or organizational uh, constraints. Our research also uh, consists in developing models such as multi-layer networks to bridge ecosystem dynamics and bioeconomic dynamics to better understand the complexity and adaptivity of such complex systems. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. And I will be uh, very happy to answer your question in, in the chat or offline if you drop me an email. Thank you.